everybody, Derek here. Uh, how's it going? Um, I'm from Addictive Tips, and I'm here to teach you guys about how to customize the Mate desktop. So let's start off with the panels. So you can do a lot with the panels. If you want to delete a specific panel, just right click on one and then click the delete button. And now our panel's gone. If you want to add stuff to the panel, right click on a panel, click add stuff to the panel. And uh, you can go through and you can find anything you want to add to it. I'm going to add a Windows list because I just deleted the other panel. And uh, let me find it. Da -da -da, window list. There we go. So I can add the window list. And at any time, if I want to modify absolutely anything, I can do that. And I can add a new menu if I want to. No, main menu is now here. We've got uh, the menu bar I can add. There's a lot of stuff to do in the Mate settings area for the panel. If you want to change the panel properties, you can right click and select properties and this will allow you to change the size. You can also change the orientation and uh, you can change the expanding properties. So if you only like a small panel like this, you can do that. You can also just keep it the same. You can set auto hide. So it will automatically hide in when you're using full screen applications like this. Why don't we actually, let me find it. Like this, it should automatically hide or not. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It, it does work. Uh, I can't get it to work right now, but it does work. So if you wanna change the overall appearance, just right click and then click change desktop background. And from here, obviously there are wallpaper settings but there's also the font settings, which you can customize and change up. You can change the application font. Uh, there's also settings for the document font and the desktop font. I'm going to leave these the way they are, but if you want to make it look nice, you can go through their specific settings here, uh, or you can go through uh, and leave it at the default, but you can change pretty much anything there is to, to change with fonts. In addition to all of that, you can change the theme. So you've got a lot of themes to choose from. And if you're not the kind of person who likes to mix and match, you can just find one and select it and the theme will automatically apply. But if you want to make your own, you can click customize, go through and change the controls. And then you can go through and change the colors if you'd like to and change the window border, which is, you know, I'm going to make it look like windows, I guess. Let's see if we can do the same thing with, uh, let me see. I guess not. I want it to make it look entirely like Windows. I guess I can't. But uh, you can also change the icons if you go through the icon tab. And this will set it to mate, uh, whatever you want to. And even the uh, the cursor theme is customizable too under mate. If you like these edits to the desktop, you can easily save your theme, uh, custom theme, like this, and save it. And then you've got it here for, you know, for whatever you want to use it for. Uh, that's about it when it comes to customizing the Mate desktop, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hope you learned something. You know, customizing stuff on Linux is confusing to some people. So if I can help you understand how that works a little bit better, then that is good. I, uh, I have to get going, though, but I will see you in the next video.